If you're looking for a good laugh with the help of some familiar faces, you have a couple of really good options. In Psych 2 Lassie Come Home, a true love letter to fans of the series, Sean and Gus are back home in Santa Barbara to help Chief Lassiter untangle a twisted case. Is it like a family reunion for you guys when you're back all on set together? I would say always. It's a love fest. And, you know, and, and at least with the cast, we try to see each other as much as we can outside of filming. But to get back together with the crew, it's a blast. Surprise! Ah! Surprise! Surprise! What is wrong with you two? And this one too, in particular, with uh, you know, with Tim, it was like uh, getting getting to work with him again too, and having the whole group back together was was made this one even more special. It's been way too long for the psychos. Uh, they haven't had their ten moms and fix in a minute, and they're gonna get it. For the newcomers, the people like Joel McHale who are coming into this. Is there hazing? Is there anything funny that you guys do to initiate the new people? Or what, what happens? What does that look like? Well, we kind of had a thing on the series that we kind of wine and dine them a little bit. Like we liked to, we, we loved having people up. We wanted them to share in the fun. So there was always a little party element to it. Joel and Tim are friends. And so for like Joel in particular, I think the special part of that was how emotional it was for them. I know that there is a potential for more films in the future. Where would you like to see your characters going or doing? With Gus, he's, he finally is in a committed long-term relationship. So I would love to see Gus try to balance that more. Still figuring out his solving the crimes and this and that, but also trying to be, you know, that that boyfriend that he's always wanted to be. I mean, I always love doing undercover work, so. <laughs> you can make it into outer space. We okay. were able to get there during the run of the series. And look, we're not getting any younger. We gotta get up there. When you finish watching Psych 2, queue up Intelligence, a workplace comedy set in the UK's government communications headquarters. The show stars David Schwimmer, a pompous NSA agent from the US named Jerry Bernstein, and Nick Muhammad, who plays Joseph, an inept computer analyst who is a less than ideal option for helping the team fight cyber terrorism. Is that my check? Um, yes, um, I didn't know what you liked. So I just got a mix of thighs and a couple of big breasts. Did you do a background check? On the chicken? Yeah. Uh, it's just a rotisserie chicken. So we don't know if it's organic? Uh, not yet, no. Congratulations, the show is hilarious. And I, I have to say my favorite part is the on-screen relationship between both of your characters. So I guess, David, I'll start with you. What makes it so great? You know, I'm in it. So, uh, that, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the second time I've, told, I've done that joke. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I just think it's a really original idea. I mean, yes, it's an ensemble workplace comedy. It's a sitcom. But the world in which uh, the backdrop for this this character-driven comedy, a bunch of about a bunch of misfits, is is the high-stakes world of national security, um, and you combine that with the bromance that's happening between my my character Jerry and Nick's character Joseph. Um, it was just really appealing to me. Also, to play this. This kind of a character is such a departure for me. It's, you know, alpha male, arrogant, patriotic, ignorant American. It was just really fun to play a guy like this, especially in the time we're in. So Nick, you wrote, produced, and star in this this comedy. Did you have yeah. David in mind for Jerry when you were writing the character? Com completely, yeah. So David and I had, um, we had done some workshops, some little improv stuff on, a, on, on another show, just working on some characters. I'd always wanted to write a workplace sitcom and I, I liked the idea of having that high stakes backdrop like Shrim said, but uh, I just sent it to, to Shrim and he was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, to be able to lean on, on, on David's experience in that way was so, so useful. And we've been, you know, both have been quite hands on as, as exec producers, I think. So David, having been on a show that's one of the most loved cast of all times, when you're on a new show, when do you feel if that magic is there or not? And is it there? I felt like it was there for this. Yeah, well, I'm, oh, that's so nice to hear, uh, genuinely, um, because we felt it. Even before this show, when Nick and I were improvising together, I, I think we both sensed that oh, there's something here. There's chemistry here for sure. But then casting the rest of this wonderful ensemble of mostly predominantly women was really exciting and, and challenging because we, we knew we had to keep this kind of chemistry going, trying to show off the best of every person in the, in the group, so. What I think makes that ensemble, them, them sort of like really sort of sing as, as an ensemble is they're just gen, genuinely nice people, I enjoy it really. 
Well, it's a joy to watch. The world needs something to laugh about right now, so thank you. Psych 2, Lassie Come Home, and Intelligence will be streaming on Peacock starting July 15th.